Hi, everyone. Um, I did a technique yesterday that my friend Sharon asked me to do. So if you're listening, Sharon, this is for you. But then I thought, well, maybe some of the rest of you would enjoy this. So what I did was took an image that I had stamped and copied it on my laser printer. And um, I'll go through the process. This is a finished card that I did with those pieces. If you can see the, the shine on the flowers. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more about what I did to finish this, but that's the effect you can get. So these are after the, I've foiled them, what they look like. It's hard to get. I used rose gold foil and so I took my stamp platform and I had gotten this new uh, floral elements by Tim Holtz and just decided to play with it and see what I could create and so I just stamped onto this paper with just black ink um, this is this one's scrapbook.com premium dye ink. Um, I like this for most of my black inking. It works really well. So then I had the stamped images, and I take these, took these to my laser printer, and copied them onto other paper. Now, if you don't have a laser printer, uh, some of the, the office supply stores you can take in your your paper and they will copy it with their laser printer or maybe you know someone that has a laser printer. It needs to be the toner ink for things to work. Now there is toner stamp ink and I have some and I've tried it and it's so messy I don't think I will do that again. So then it comes off the printer and with the black you can kind of see where it is when it comes off. You can see there's something on the paper uh, this was new for me. I'd never done it with black, but I really like the effect of that. So, and I could have laid the images out better, but I was just playing yesterday, so I um, ended up fussy cutting. So you get your, your toner printed um, copy, and then you're going to put it into your, I have a, a Anna Griffin mink machine. Heidi Swap has one. And you can also use a laminator, but you need the kind of, of foil that you need is, this one says rose gold reactive foil. It's reactive because it works with the toner, which is different than the foil that you use with a heat machine and pressure, such as the Gopressin foil or um, the uh, Gemini foil machine. Those take pressure this this will not work in those machines and those foils won't work with this technique they're they're built to uh, react differently so I got a lot of good deals on a Tuesday morning on this so I have a, a real big stock on it so lots of different colors and you can do it in in whatever color so you take your um, off the off the printer you put it into I use just a folded piece of copy paper rather than the uh, plastic folders that came with these machines I find that it, I get a better print out of just copy paper you lay it in foil side up and then it comes out with the you just peel it off and the foils on your paper so then what I did was took, so this is another one, and I just colored in with my distress inks, the, fl the flowers. I'll show you a little bit of that. I used um, saltwater taffy and peeled paint on this. So I'm still using the flat dauber things. So I just get some ink on there swirl it around a little bit, and if I had a scrap paper, I'd do it on the scrap paper first, but we'll do it up here on the corner so that you don't get any heavy 
lines. Make sure you don't have a bunch of ink on there. And then because this set, the images are sketched, uh, so there's not um, definition of lines like in some other things. So this I wasn't even real careful with. I just went like this. I wanted it soft and colored in the image. And then I went back and um, hand cut them out. The leaves I did in the peeled paint. And then the background, um, I tried out the new bubbles stamp and did the green and the pink because I wanted to carry the colors through and then threw in one of my favorites, speckled egg. So I, I stamped that and got that and then I decided that I wanted a, a little bit more texture and I used, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, I used the um, doily embossing folder and the reason I did that is I have doilies that my mom and my grandmother did that they used variegated thread, crochet thread. And when I saw the, the background with those colors, I just knew I had to do that. So then I fussy cut out the images and um, made an arrangement down here. And then at some point I will add a sentiment. I layered it with the pink to tie the color in and put it on a card base. So I hope you try that. I hope you got something out of that. And I'll be back next time.